Good Monday morning, everybody. Just as we were walking down to the point, I mean to the pond, look who flew over and landed on this on the bank over here, right next to the drain. There's Harry. He got here. It's kind of early. He's right around seven. He squawked somebody away. I didn't see who he um, who was here first, but he's not there now. We also saw the keeper of the corn going back up to his house. So obviously the uh, the, the corn has been placed out. <clears throat> They've had their breakfast, and there's two mallards in the pond, and then way over there are Huey and Dewey. They've had their breakfast too, so now they're taking a little swim, burn off that corn, and see where that takes them. And then there's Harry. I guess he's deciding where he wants to be, either there or go, oh, here a hawk. Maybe that's what he flew off that piercing whistle kind of thing. That's a hawk. Same hawk that was flying over the... <laughs> there, you hear it? You hear that? I think he's mad because Harry ran him off. All right. Boy, is it quiet out here. And boy, is it thick. It is... It's already... Um, ugh. Okay, here come the two mallards. And there are Huey and Dewey headed over to their grooming spot over on Duck Feather, uh, on the levee. All right, no sense in walking out to Duck Feather Point, though, because Harry's right here. Oh, there's the, I saw the hawk. He just flew by. He, it was too too close. He hit his head in, in uh, Harry's direction and made, it, made a change of heart, a change of plans, and turned around and flew up another way. All right, we'll walk out to uh, out that way and just see what's going on. I don't see anything on the levee like I did yesterday and missed. My fingers aren't in the way of the lens this morning. So we're off to a good start. All right, sit tight and we will see you in just a few minutes. You know, I see the corn here on the ground. I think, now it comes to me, that uh, the corn was put out for the, for the ducks and then the, the hawk was in the tree, and as soon as the hawk saw the ducks maybe coming to the corn, uh, he went after them, and that's why they're, they haven't, nobody's come to the corn yet that I can tell. They, the hawk kind of scared them off because they're out there in the pond. See, they're out there in the pond, and they're not gonna come up here until that hawk is gone, and then they'll grab a bite to eat. I don't blame him. I wouldn't want to get got by a hawk either. And there's a little, there's a little better view of Harry. He sure is still, huh? He's about as still as the air. There they come. Some brave soul's got to be the one to get up on the bank first. You better go get you some corn right quick. Nope, not going anywhere right now. I want to stay. Okay, maybe. Here we go. She's watching all around. There's also corn scattered amongst the grass there, where she's picking stuff up. And then he could hear he hear the other one comes. There we go. Yeah, they braved it and came out and got the, they're going to have some breakfast. You've heard the old expression, make hay while the sun shines. Well, we're adapting it to eat corn while the hawk's gone. Right here, because they're gobbling stuff up as quick as they can. And we haven't heard the hawk, so maybe he went away to another location to find something else to eat. All right. And Harry's still right there doing some grooming. Okay, we're, on, we're definitely going over to Duck Feather Point and just see what Huey and Dewey are up to. Well, there they are, Huey and Dewey, on the pond wall. This is where they like to come after a meal and um, 
pluck and clean and preen and scratch and shake and do other things that get them ready to take a nap. <laughs> oh. And we've scanned the levee to see what, tried to see what we saw yesterday and didn't happen. So we'll just keep that to ourselves until we spot it again. All right, let's go ahead and set our intentions for this Monday. This is the last Monday of this month, y'all. I think it's the 27th. All right, let's love somebody forward. Let's perform a random act of kindness. Let's pay a compliment to someone and let's do epic. And this, by the way, is do epic week for us planksters because it's our final, the week of our challenge this week. All right, see how the air is so thick you can almost see it. You can almost see how thick it is. Whew. All right, y'all. Have a great Monday. Stay safe. Stay strong. Stay healthy. Get vaccinated. And by all means, always, always do what? Be kind. Health out.